one here from a young man here. I think we would love to. I know we would love to hear from him. I think he's also a film critic. Yes, very ah. oh, oh, yeah. yeah. And don't never give a, a microphone to a film critic. Uh, here I go. I'm sure. Great to see you. Uh, it was great. It's great to see you, Director Guggenheim, and welcome to San Diego. <laughs> oh, I saw you last year at the LA Film Festival. Yeah. It's nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah, I have a question, which is, um, what well, since since the U.S. is like somewhere around the twentieth in the twenties, uh, in world ranking for education, what do we have to learn from foreign countries that are doing better? Uh, also, I work for the Union Tribune and the Entertainer Magazine. <laughs> Aren't you impressed? <laughs> You're always so impressive. The question is, what can we learn from other countries? Um, and uh, um, uh, we, we, we uh, did a lot of reading about um, the, the countries that are kicking our butts. Um, but the country to really look at is Finland. And when you get really, um, when it feels like too much, I think the, 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 the real solution is really dedicating yourselves to great teachers. If you're a parent, um, you really get it. And you're dropping your kid off in the morning and you see a great teacher, you know that that has a great feeling. That's, you know, and you just can tell. Finland um, has uh, recruits from the very top. It puts those teachers through a great, great um, search certification process. While they're in schools, they're constantly developed, collaborate with each other, um, because teaching is something you learn as you go. Um, and great teachers are rewarded. Um, and when you, um, and when, if you decide to leave the te teaching profession, you can almost get any job you want. Te teaching is like one of the highest prestige jobs you can get. And wouldn't that be great to do? Here? That's a big question, how do you do that? But, the, but that, that dedication as a country to, that, to those steps, recruiting from the very best, training really well, developing really well, um, and rewarding. Those are the things that, 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 that um, I'm sure that you do every day. You know, I, I'm sure that the biggest part of your job, uh, this have you answer, is like, how, how is my, how's my staff of teachers? Is that about right? Yes, exactly. The, te the teacher in the classroom <coughs> is a very crucial part, and I do respect all the questions and comments around it doesn't feel like it's blaming the teacher, but truly, as Jeffrey Canada said in the movie, when you do have a good teacher in that classroom, it is a piece of art. It is amazing to watch. It's amazing to see what happens to the children. So that is a huge part of, if not the most important part of what we are looking at every day, a very, a very big challenge for us and a very big, exciting challenge for us. Um, I do want to, at this time then, Davis, is to thank everybody for coming. Thank you so much for your great questions. And I know you join me in thanking our esteemed guest here, David Sudenheim, for his time and his great, great um, stirring up of the movie here. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. I really, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Crystal. <laughs>